strawberry plants just aren't growing well. We've given them a lot of sun and fertilizer. What else do they need? I wonder, do they need more water than they get from the rain? That's a good question. And do you know how we can find the answer? With science! Science in our backyard? Don't you need to be a scientist in a fancy laboratory for that? Not at all. Science, or more properly the scientific method, is a process that anyone can use to find out more about the world around them. Well, okay. So, how do I use science to figure out if my plants need more water? First, you need a hypothesis. A hypothesis? What's that? Laboratory Larry, can you tell us what a hypothesis is? A hypothesis is a possible explanation for a question you want to answer. Thanks, Larry. To put it another way, a hypothesis is a statement you can either reject or accept using the results of your study. I see. So my hypothesis would be strawberries that get water every day will produce more berries than strawberries that don't. You got it! Now we need to design a study to test your hypothesis. So, what's the first step? The first step is to find out what your dependent variable is. Dependent variable? What's that? And the dependent variable is the result that is measured as part of the experiment. It is sometimes called the outcome or the endpoint. So, my dependent variable would be the number of strawberries each plant produces. Great! Now you need to know what your independent variable is. Independent variable? What's that? The independent variable is the factor or process that is being tested to see how it affects the outcome. It is sometimes called the intervention, the treatment, or the exposure. So my intervention would be the amount of water, either relating the rainwater my plants or watering them every day. Let's start the study! Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you can do your study, you need to know what your control variables are. Control variables. Control variables are factors that are kept the same throughout the study. There are lots of things that can affect how much many berries a plant produces, not just the amount of water. The sunlight, the type of soil, the age of the plant, or the variety of the plant. You got it. We need to make sure that the only thing affecting our dependent variable is our independent variable. So, I have a hypothesis. I know all my variables. Do I need anything else? You sure do. You need an analysis plan. The analysis plan is the description of how the values of the dependent variable will be compared between treatment groups. For example, you could compare the average number of strawberries from plants that get watered every day to the average number from plants that get watered only when it rains. Let's start the experiment! Yes, we have our hypothesis. We know our variables. We have an analysis plan. Now we have to conduct the experiment and gather the results. After we analyze the results, what do we do next? We check our results with our hypothesis to see if they support or disprove our hypothesis. So, if the, if the strawberries that we watered every day grow more berries, that would support my hypothesis. If they didn't, that would disprove my hypothesis. Yes, that's correct. Laboratory Larry, let's review what we learned. To conduct a scientific study, you must first form a hypothesis, define the dependent variable, define the independent variable, define the controlled variables, make an analysis plan, do the experiment, analyze the results, and compare the results to the hypothesis. That's Backyard Science!